Hi, this is Blind Man Bird of the Link, and uh, I'm about to enter the Bellary Building here in Prescott, Arizona, where I've just been told there is a sit-in occurring at uh, Representative Paul Gozar's office in the Bellary Building here. He's the Republican House Representative of Arizona's 4th District, which includes, we actually looked this up just the other night, it includes Yavapai County, Coconino County, parts of northwestern Arizona. So let's go inside. I want to kind of stay on the subject, on the subject here of, of uh, yeah. gun. Um, That's good, but let me tell you. Sensible gun laws, we agree yeah. with you. Yes. And you can, can I just restate ideas? everything that you said so far for those who come late? I'm a little late. Well, we stated on the beginning. Okay. So, so we are here in solidarity with John Lewis and the Democratic yeah. sit, sit in the House on the floor of the House uh, of Representatives, and we understand that the from you, in fact, that and from uh, Jeremiah, that the uh, sit down um, in the House floor has ended and, some hours ago. Yeah. Yeah. And so we have decided that we. Um, who are here in solidarity with John Lewis and uh, Democratic sit down, but we would stay here another 10 minutes. Okay, and I do want to write a letter, if I might, at the end. I'm a, I'm a sure. constituent of the 4th District, at the end of the, their statement. Sure. And, so, and so Jim uh, Padaro here is is uh, is giving us uh, a sort of on some uh, yeah. think, money out of politics. But Jim, I think we all agree with you that the, the money influence in politics corrupts corrupts uh, politicians. Yes, uh, it's an inherent problem yes. we have. And the only way you're going to and solve that extends to the gun issue because, of course, you got the NRA. Yes, who and if you want to, money. you know, here's the deal: if you want to solve the the gun problem, if you want to solve, you name the problem. The problem is all about money. As long as you have vested interests who are paying our con our elected representatives money, we cannot afford to go against those those the wishes of the people who fund their elections. Well, that's only in Arizona. We don't have it on a national basis. And so what we are going to do is on a national basis, we are going to implement the Arizona Clean Election Act with some modifications. Mm -hmm. And how do we start that? And let's just leave it to the guns. How do we fix the gun problem? We get public funding of elections. We take the NRA out of the equation, all that money. What do we need? To, what's our first step? Uh, you know, we're here. We came because we're in solidarity with uh, John Lewis and the sit down. Um, demonstration in our House of Representatives, and and we want to. And there's oh wow, well, there she is, Marion. Hi there. Great, you're in town. Amazing. Yes, I'm back finally. Great. Are you yeah. here for our okay. sit down? Yeah. Oh great. For now, okay. I got voter registration. Yeah. Well, we're only <laughs> we're only going to be here five more minutes. You got to sit down, Marion. <laughs> 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 to make it official. So anyway, okay. we want. There's a chair. There we go. So anyway, oh, it's we sitting. Want, you sit uh, on the floor. We want Representative Grossar to know that his constituents in, in District Four came into his office yep. to support the sit down in the House of Representatives, and we want him to do something to pass some sensible gun laws for the entire nation and ins instead of uh, leaving town right. on recess to stay and get the job done and that is working with the Democrats who were on the floor of the House of Representatives and arrive at some sensible gun laws to make our country safer. So that's why we're here, and that's what we want to uh, To listen and to be willing to compromise. And actually yesterday, uh, Jeff Flake on his Facebook page said that he uh, he initially voted against a democratic no fly, uh, no fly, no buy no fly move, but then he proposed his own. So I thought that was actually for a Republican, kind of a cool thing. We need right. more people like him. I normally would not be one to praise Flake. Well, even though uh, even though it's pretty meaningless, he was well, he was one of the primary killers of the universal background checks. Yeah, Sandy Hook. it may just be a publicity so he, move, um, but but uh, at least it's something. Yeah, at yeah, least I, I agree. it's something. It's it's in. He is actually encouraging a participation, I sense. 
Yeah. In his statement, he's saying, I'm willing to talk. My bill may not make it, their bill didn't make it, but at least I'm willing to talk. You yeah. said something like that. I thought that was very noble. If we vote for enough Democrats, we'll make your dreams come true. <laughs> right? No. But right no. now, there, there's no chance that anything like that would pass. I can't impress this to at all. I mean, I, passing public funding? Right. Yeah. Uh, would so, not pass the House. No, but we and, don't worry about that. And even after November, if, they, if the Republicans hold a majority in the House, same with uh, they're going to obstruct the gun control. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have that hurdle mm -hmm. with the gun issue, too. Mm -hmm. That they're not going to listen to the will of the American people. They've got their own agenda. By the way, 85, 90 percent of Americans support common sense gun control. Yeah. But representatives like Gosar will not yeah. listen to us. And this is another thing they were saying all night long in the, on C-SPAN or at the uh, on C-SPAN on the, the sit down that moments of silence are empty gestures. Just saying these platitudes about another mass shooting. We want our representatives to do something. And we even want to NRA members agree that something yeah. uh, should be done. When they're polled, um, they agree that something needs to be done. Yeah. So That's the you, extremists at the NRA, that the, the leadership that are... Um, you like you know, Michael Weiser? Oh, this is kind of ironic. Um, <laughs> we have gun control here. We are in a gun-free zone, and therefore a soft target by some definition. All we need is right because we can't defend ourselves. Right? We can't possibly defend ourselves against attack. What are you going to do about that? That's the logic. More guns to fix that. Publicly, we are. We are. Should we go? Bye, y'all. Thanks for hosting us. <laughs> thank yeah. you, thank you. Thank you very much for being so kind. Do you want to be on the boardwalk? I will be there. Marion, you should be on the boardwalk. Nobody's going to lose. No, no, no. We were here. And we had a message. So maybe if you want to come over here, and then uh, I can just see this is media manipulating reality right here. Yeah, exactly. You're doing all. All right. Daily Courier interviews Dennis Duval and Marianne, okay. activists. So uh, Dennis, you know what? What? Why did you decide to host this today? This is uh, sit Well, yesterday afternoon when uh, I heard that there was a sit-in in the House of Representatives led by Representative John Lewis. Um, I thought there was something we could do locally, and so I just made some phone calls to some people to come to uh, Representative Gosar's office. We'll do a sit-in here in solidarity with John Lewis and the, uh, and the Democrats that are sitting in, in the House of Representatives for sensible gun laws, for the Republicans to allow a vote on legislation, gun legislation and not run out of town with the tails between their legs and leaving uh, the Democrats um, in the House of Representatives sitting on the floor. Democrats were there. They were ready to vote. All they wanted was the chance to vote on on, uh, on uh, sensible gun laws for our country to make our country safer. And that's what they were doing. And we were here in Representative Gosar's office in solidarity with Representative John Lewis and the Democrats that were doing the sitting. Uh, so what would you say your mission statement is? What do you hope uh, is accomplished um, from from doing such uh, such sit-ins? You know, well, such, yeah. Well, hopefully, we, hopefully we'll uh, get the message to uh, Representative Gosar that we want him to use his office. We elected him. He's our elected representative. We want him to. Um, do his part to pass some meaningful, sensible gun legislation to take assault weapons, military-style weapons, off our streets 
to pass uh, gun laws that are just sensible common sense. We want him to at least legalize common sense when it comes to guns and not just do the bidding of the National Rifle Association. I think that's probably good enough. Yeah. I just wanted to maybe get you saying your saying what you're here for. Yeah. What, was your, what was your name again? Max. Max. Yeah. yeah well, thanks for coming. Yeah, of course. No problem, Dan. Appreciate it. Thank you, Max. Thanks for being all you guys. Thank yeah. you. Maybe we can change things. You know, there's. We I think we uh, we're in solidarity with a lot of Americans yeah. out there. Right. And there's a part of his title. Well, sorry, his title. And that's represent. They are supposed to be there to represent us. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, European nations and other parts of the world, they must think we're crazy. Uh, you know, we do. We Many do. military guns on the streets. Many do. And, you know, anyone can buy a gun uh, online or gun show from an unlicensed dealer, yeah. regardless of who they are. That That's the type of loophole that I think liberals, and, or I should say uh, Democrats and Republicans, should be able to work. You would through. think so. Yeah, it that's that's a clear <laughs> loophole that should be abolished. It doesn't make sense that you can go online and buy thousands of rounds of ammunition. Right. Unlimited. <laughs> close until 8 a.m., close until 8 a.m., uh, Friday, I guess. Oh, wait, what is today? Today is Thursday. Yeah, it closes until 8 a.m. Friday. I'm sorry. It could be for any reason. No. Yeah. Um, well, we can make a few people uh, think about um, uh, gun laws, um, sensible gun laws, and the need for the um, gun reform, gun safety, and that we can actually do things locally. And to, all they have to do is leave their house and uh, and participate in something that focuses attention on the gun problem and uh, solutions that are available to us. So that's why we're here. Are we um, going to change Gosar's mind? No, but you know, 85, 90 percent of Americans want sensible gun control, and I think we've reached a real tipping point. We're fed up with the massacres one after another. And we need to do something. That's what uh, the American government is supposed to do: is to resolve problems. And right. you know, our politicians, uh, Bob, known by the NRA, a lot of them uh, refuse to to do anything. I, I actually know a lot of uh, conservatives personally who have been uh, speaking out against the GOP standing together and not listening. They're actually saying, I really want my representatives to listen to the Democrats. I don't agree with all the points, but the fact that there's been this lockup of discourse. Is, do you know personally any conservative-leaning or Republican-leaning people who have expressed solidarity with the idea of uh, discourse? I think Jeff Flake, Senator Flake, is now the problem he has is that he was one of the primary killers of universal background checks after Sandy Hook. But yeah. at least he's supporting a uh, bipartisan measure of uh, no with flying, Susan Collins. No yep. uh, so it's something. Uh, but a lot of things need to be done. And, uh, you he's know. taking a lot of heat online. Do you think that um, the only way to solve this lockup is for representatives and senators, se uh, senators to split from their party leadership and engage in bipartisan cooperation? That's a leading question. The answer is yes. Yeah, yeah there you go, the yes. Big, the big fear <laughs> of all the representatives is the NRA. And this is exactly why we need to move towards public funded elections, clean elections, uh, where our representatives are not representing us, they're representing big money. And certainly the NRA has the money and they have financed many aspects of campaigns and so it's they're representing the NRA not the American people and that's what really has to change and it's shocking because again like 85 90 percent of Americans want sensible gun control and you have the extremists at the NRA uh, opposing just about all of it it's just it's just shocking Dennis, do you want to close by saying anything? 
Uh, Richard has something to say. Richard, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to skip you. You know, I, I believe Representative uh, John Lewis represents most of the people in the U.S. who want you know, common sense gun regulation. Speak up, okay. And uh, so I, you know, we're hopeful that you know John Lewis took a very courageous position. And it wasn't so much that he's a Democrat or Republican. He, he stood up for what he believed in and, and what the American people really want. So it was very courageous. And I think all of our, everyone who gets involved in their little way and supports that will strengthen that movement. I think he, maybe he started a movement that it's really time to turn this around. And, uh, and John Lewis is a great American. He, he's demonstrated that with his life. You know, he, he's been beaten and knocked down, you know, and, and supported our values for probably 50 years. So, Representative you know, of Georgia, yeah. A representative of Georgia, right. So this is no stunt. And for someone like the NRA to call him a terrorist... Did is, they actually say that? From what I read on the Internet, they did. I'm going to be looking that up. So... Anyway, if they did do that, it's totally wrong. This is a great American, and he started a great movement for yep. common sense gun regulation. LaRouche and I believe it was yes. in the 1970s that they switched their stance that there would be no compromise for any right. kind of gun regulation. And now, and now they seem to be in lockstep and maybe have a stranglehold on the GOP. The GOP is suffering from a lot of uh, Trumpism, certainly, but to right. have organizations like the NRA, who are so totally ideological, it seems to be very dangerous for them. Yeah. Did you want to say anything? Thank you. Uh, I'll say something real quick. Um, oh. yes. okay. I'll say something. I'll say something. <coughs> that I wanted to point out to the NRA, if, if, if any of the members uh, actually see this uh, news clip, that humanity and nature are more than just a silhouette, a silhouette on a piece of paper for you to be shooting at, and that you should look into your hearts uh, that we need uh, some sensible gun regulations. And uh, because we're all here working together on this planet okay. to keep our households together, put food on the table, uh, raise our kids in a sensible way, um, and uh, it's just, we're all together in this, and we need to learn to get along. And uh, we need sensible gun laws. Thank you. Thank you so much for the time.